In general, you worked with some uh, fantastic directors. I mean, you worked with Anthony Mann, you worked with uh, Frankenheimer, you worked with Billy Wilder, Martin Scorsese, Mike Nichols. What did you learn from some of these guys in terms of your, your craft? In terms of the craft, I slowly learned that some directors in the movies leave you alone. And that's the best thing they can do. Some of them come on strong. They want to put their version in it. That, that, that. Cast somebody else. Why did you cast me? You want me to do it? Let me do it. Anyway, those are the directors that I like and dislike. But uh, adjusting to them was not too hard. Let me tell you about George Stevens, who never, never, never talked to me at all. Mm. I was playing an old rabbi from the Jewish higher court. And I was, they made up my face to look older than I look old enough now. But then, they mm -hmm. but my hands were not made up and I could not make up my hands to look any older. So when I came on stage and said, oh, it smokes, my hands are so young. I took my prayer shawl, my talus, I wrapped up my hand and I sat there. And very quickly, the technical advisor, they wanted to be perfectly in the greatest story of it all. They wanted to be right on. So he says to George Stevens, why is Mr. Persoff covering his hands? And George says, the kid, the man was born in Jerusalem. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. This guy, this technical advisor was upset. He went and he got the main guy, an older man, Italian man, and he says, Mr. Persoff wants to know, Mr. He wants to know why Mr. Persoff's hiding his hands. So the man thought, well, 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 because the parchment on which the scroll is written is so valuable. If you touch with your hand, the oil from the hand ruins the <laughs> parchment. And that's so Stevens turns to this guy. You see, I told you the man knows what he's doing. 